Wow, that's a good one. Wow, that's, that's a beautiful. Wow. This wow. one is probably a 10 incher. Wow. Nice. Wow, this one is oh, probably a 10 incher one. Wow, nice. Oh. Wow. Wow. Look at the size of the yellow perch. That's like half a pound. Yeah, crazy size. Hi guys, Bash here. Today I'm at uh, Moss Lake again. 10 days ago I was here fishing for crappie and a yellow perch. Was able to get uh, a lot of fish in about uh, two hours. That's why I'm here again today. Hopefully we still can get a lot of crappie and a yellow perch. But uh, the temperature today is uh, colder, much colder than 10 days ago. I'm not sure I can get, still can get a lot of uh, fish. But uh, I will try. Um, as always, before I get started, let me show you guys my setup. Yeah, here's a same fishing rod, seven foot and a six um, spinning rod, three saws in the rail, and eight pound of main nine. Over there, I have a crappy jig with a crappy tube. This is a one of uh, 32 ounce. Crappy jig with a crappy tube, green tube, and over there I have a pink jig with pink uh, tube, and about uh, five to six foot above there I have a bobber. Yeah, that's just my setup. Easy, very easy. Uh, let's go cast out and see our luck today. Today, um under the bridge, you can see it has slow current, which is quite good. Um, as I said before, crappie, they don't like strong current, right? And this slow current is saving me a lot of energy uh, from moving the jig. Hey, fish on, fish on. Wow, that's another good one. Yeah. Should be another cable. Nice. Crappie, they don't really like to chase those fast moving bait, right? But also, they don't like to bite on bait, which is not moving. That's why I like the strong, uh, slow current, which is just naturally move your my lure like downstream. Oh, oh, that's another bite. Another one. Another one. It looks like still small ones. A lot of small ones today. Yeah, today is the temperature dropped quite a bit um, from uh, last time I was here, and when the temperature is not that high, um, crops they are not really uh, that active. You will need a lot of patient. Uh, that was spike. Um, you need a patient, just like uh, keep moving a bit. Like when is getting um, to a very downstream, which you cannot see the bobber, just move it back to close to you, and let the current to move your um, lure downstream again. Just just give it more patient. You will find the bite. Yeah, they are still here, just not really active. Yeah, bobber, bobber down. We all know crappie like structure. The spot I'm fishing at right now must have a good structure. Fish on. This spot have so many fish. Oh, this is a caper. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is a caper finally. Yeah. Oh. Wow, this is a. Wow, look at that. Huh? This is a slabber. It's a slabber. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. 
Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. So now let me show you guys how to fish out here without a bobber. You just cast out, wait for about 8 to 10, 10 seconds, and then you start to reel in slowly. And you can shake a little bit once in a while. Now fish on. That was quick. That was quick. This is another effective way of fishing at here. Oh, yellow perch. Oh, oh. Look at the size of a yellow perch. Look at the size of yellow perch. It's crazy big. Nice. In my last trip, most of the time I was fishing towards the lakeside and I get a lot of fish at here. But uh, this trip, um, most of the fish I get uh, um, towards the freeway side. Um, but I just saw a people get a very big crappie at this side, um, about 11 inch. That's why uh, I'm casting this way. Hopefully we can get something. You guys are leaving? Yeah. Got a name it? Yeah. Nice. 44. Nice, really nice. Wow. Wow, that's a good one. Wow, that's, that's a beautiful. Wow. wow. This one is probably a 10 incher. Wow. Nice. Wow, this one is. Okay guys, I'm heading home now. Today is uh, a lot slower than 10 days ago. 
um, temperature dropped a little bit, actually quite a bit. Even my hands feels really cold when fishing on the bridge. But I managed to get the limit of a crappie and uh, a lot yellow perch. Look at the size. The size is quite good. It's uh, bigger than last time, but the bite was slow. Yeah. Took me about three hours to get this many fish. One more hour than 10 days ago. Uh, I guess this would be my last trip for crappie fishing at Moses Lake this autumn. Yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.